Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the next episode of Landscape North. Today, we're actually filming from the Landscape Ontario Congress in uh, Toronto, Ontario. And I'll let my guest introduce himself and a little bit about his business. Uh, so, my name is Howard Whitehorn. I'm president of Harm Plastics North America. And I also run the UK business for Harm Plastics. Nice. And how long have you been doing that now? Oh, I've been at it now for 18 years, all told, in recycled plastics. And Harm, as a business, has been operating for 26 years. So it's set up originally in Germany okay. when the landfilling of plastic was banned. Right. So lots of businesses set up to try and use that resource right. rather than it going to landfill. So 26 years later, we have a range of 2,000 different products. Wow. That's incredible. Um, mainly in the landscaping areas, okay. but uh, timber replacement, concrete replacement, sure. often steel replacement okay. as well. And your uh, North American operations are based out of where? So we're in uh, St. Clements, Ontario, okay. which is just outside of Waterloo. Oh, nice. So fairly close to the GTA marketplace in Ontario population. It is, yeah. So okay. it, it gives us a good source of material because waste plastic is, right. is our uh, raw material. And we're also nicely near the 401 with sure. access to routes into the US as well. So you operate from, from Waterloo area and cover Canada and the United States from this location? Correct, yeah. Okay. Great. So at the moment, about 70% of our business is Canada okay. and about 30 is in the US. Nice. So far. Good. Plans to open a US operation? Uh, I think ultimately we probably will. Right. Uh, obviously, it's a huge market right. to service and to service the whole of the US from Ontario is, is a challenge. challenge. Yeah. yeah. So, one of the questions that I will start off with was um, what changes or trends do you see changing in the landscape industry in the next coming years? I think um, plastic, the use of recycled plastic in landscaping is now enormous in Europe. Sure. Uh, yeah. So uh, over the last uh, 20 years, uh, it's developed to a, a fairly standard raw material right. in landscaping. You, know, you, you remove the need for maintenance, you, uh, you produce or you, you use a resource that is, uh, is readily available in right. terms of, of plastic waste. And these days you can give people a, a aesthetic uh, that you wouldn't expect to get from a, a recycled material. Um, the reason we started in North America is we see that trend continuing. In Canada, it's a very environmental uh, thinking ethos, right. uh, and you need that to establish uh, recycled plastics in the market. Right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the trend I think will, will continue, and it's, uh, it's very, very well developed in Europe, and I think it will follow. Right. What, so, on that note, so the trends continue. What challenges do you see facing your industry? Well, for us in North America, it's an education challenge. Sure. Yep. Uh, so, we're at Landscape uh, Ontario Congress today, and our, our objective is to teach people about the material, teach people about the applications, get them used to it and comfortable with it. Okay. Um, so I would say at the moment 95% of people we see, we're introducing them to the product. Right. So education becomes a, a big challenge for us. Uh, historically, um, accessing the raw material has been a challenge, oh, okay. but um, China closed the doors to most of its plastic waste sure. collections. So there is an abundance of material in, in Europe as well as North America. Right. And then um, on that on that kind of vein, where do you see your business growing? Are you are you mostly manufacturing in Canada, or are you still importing in from Europe at this point in time? Uh, much of it comes from Europe. It, it's a little chicken and egg at this right. stage because. Uh, you obviously, before you can put a full-scale manufacturing unit down, you have to have the sales to support it. Right. So at this stage, we're making two products here in Canada, okay. and the rest are coming across. But uh, we're expecting substantial change over the next few years. Good. And how has technology affected, you know, positively or negatively to your business? Um, I think positively. Um, so uh, in terms of raw materials, the technology around plastics recycling has changed a great deal, so we've been able to uh, fine-tune the recipes to get yep. certain performances out of the product. Right. Uh, Find where those streams of the right 
recycled materials are coming from. Exactly right. that. Um, two examples I'll give you in uh, in Europe we have um, uh, construction board approval for retaining wall structures, oh, okay. which are used in highway building and, uh, and also in residential home building. Right. Uh, and they have a design service life of 120 years. Wow. So so much longer than than you would get from a timber material, right. of course. Uh, and in the Canadian harsh winter climate, sure. much more than you would get from concrete. Right. So recycled plastics really has a nice niche there. And we also uh, developed a, a product, uh, a ground grid, that the city of Montreal have actually laid a street. Oh, okay, great. So, uh, so they have a street that's been there now for five winters. Wow. Uh, they plough it through the winter and they grow grass through it through oh, the summer. So. What about to Montreal? Uh, it is. Uh, uh, it's okay. <laughs> it. yeah. the, I'll find the district for yeah. you. I can't remember the. Uh, oh, no worries. No worries. Uh, and, um, any questions that you would like to get some feedback on from from our audience? I, I I think the main thing for me is about education. You know, the the, the potential for the product here is enormous. So for me, and the reason I'm I'm sitting here is is to get people coming back to us with questions. In, in certain parts of Europe, we take waste from cities okay. and supply those cities back with product that they can use in their environment. Yeah. It, it's the perfect closed loop right. of, of recycling. Um, so I think that will happen here in, in North America, sure. but it takes time and education. People right. have to know who to talk to to make it happen, and, and that's hard. Okay. And so, if someone wanted to get more information, what's the best way to, to connect up with, with you and your team? Uh, the website. Okay. So, uh, the Harm website is um, harmplastics.ca, and there's inquiry forms there, uh, or call us at the office, but all the information is there on the uh, Harm Plastics website. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Enjoy Thanks. the rest of the show. Thanks, Chris. Okay. Great to meet you. Me too.